Today we show you a story of decoits from Mandya who ended up killing each other though they belonged to the same gang. Wondering why one would kill the other when they needed each other. Here are the details of the love gone wrong story in this crime special. This is the railway track that passes through a village named Eliuru in Mandya between Bengaluru and Mysore. It was on this track that a man was found lying dead on January 31st, 2040. Many trains had already gone over the dead body, leaving it in a mutilated state beyond recognition. As soon as the Mysore Railway Police were informed about the incident, they rushed to the spot. When they started investigating the case, they at first assumed that it was a case of suicide. They also tried to identify the body with the help of the documents found near the body, but in vain. Mysore Railway Police Station or the complaint of the Mandya Jile Gramantra Tana Vapia, Yeluru Railway Station, Badi, on the Aparichita Galishna, Shava, Bidirte, Busha Railway, Siki, Tunda Bidirbo in Teddy, or the complaint of the Railway Police or Prakana Dakus Kondo, Asaja Sau, and Teddy Prakana Dakus Kondo, and Livogi Panchana Major Victoria, Panchana Kazali, Bidirant Buddha. Rail or Rogi, Yerukundai. Anantra, Abadiana, Panchaname Mulka, Panchaname and Nantra, Yurate, Vajiki, Abipra, Shah Prishagi, Mandia, Jilas Patriarchal Scotra. The railway police sent the body for a post mortem and awaited the reports to take the investigations ahead. They were shocked beyond belief when the reports arrived. Their assumption was wrong. It was no suicide. It was a brutal murder. He was killed before his body was dumped at the spot. Shava Parisha Madanta Vijay the Karigal. It's a brutally high end city, a particular city. It's a site in the you know, rail either in the Hargo or other than the Sasila, but like a Atalana, Kole Madi, Sai Sita, Kole Madi, Kole Madi Nantra. Railway element from that area, no Abi Praya put that. He Abi Praya put on Nantra Railway Police or no, even our way up till Pachamado, Casta, Stalia Martali, Navargana put there, till Pachamado, Rustinda, Nama Mandia, DPO, Mania, ST Sarah, the Vagavana put there, ST Sarah, Sarah Dinadar, the Mene, Namage, Vagavana. The incident took place near Eliuru, which fell under the Mandya rural police limits. Soon after the railway police confirmed it to be a case of murder, they transferred it to the Mandya rural police station for further investigations. The case was handed over to Mandya SP Bhushan Borase, who then forwarded it to Inspector Lokesh of Mandya rural police station. Inspector Lokesh and his team swung into action and began investigating the case. In no time, they identified the deceased to be Narayan Swami. Narayan Swami, who hailed from Tamil Nadu, was a cab driver by profession and had come to Mandya recently in search of a job. He was earning his bread and butter and was living a peaceful life before the untoward incident changed it all. Satono Naran Swami no Nagatana. At the car on the Chalem Martha, Bari Karna, Anu Mukuda, Auru, Tanike, Pratika Tanike Madhara. Is to my team get there. Naran Swami on a car chalem martha, Bari Karu Sai Dana Maiti. Now Vargaone Tovan Nantra Kari and I too. Anu Namge Prasna Patana. A car bagay Samanda, Navella, Tana, Tanaka, some Patati, other abandoned Nagi car city. I get Aganamgi Nundu, my sister, but today you know, you know, the body sick to Motundu, Undu, Elsa, Nalko, Adejusa, Siang Patna, Tana, Ganguru, and on the Gramgali, in Bruta, Wurstajanta, Karo, Alipatia, a car putti, Rakta Sutwagi, Sikhir, 
ಆ ಕಾರ್ನಲ್ಲಿ ಮಹಿಳೆಯೊಬ್ಬರು ಗಾಜು ಹೊಡೆದು ಬಿದ್ದರೆ ಈ ಮಾಹಿತಿಯನ್ನು ನಾವು ಇಟ್ಕೊಳ್ತೀವಿ Now that the cops learnt about Narayan Swami's death, they started tracing his car. It was found outside a house at Ganangur in Sri Rangapatna. On the same day when they learned the identity of the deceased, the cops learnt of his car's location as well. The cops were shocked when they opened the doors of the car. There were blood stains all over the interiors of the car. They then confirmed that Narayan Swami was killed and brought in his own car to the railway track where they dumped his body. There was an interesting aspect of the case that the cops noticed while examining the car. They found pieces of bangles inside. The fact remained that the car belonged to Narayan Swami. but the cops were wondering where the pieces of bangle came from the shockers continued as the cops inspected the car further they also found a vanity bag inside the car along a pair of women's footwear a pullover and a dagger as well the cops confirmed that a lady was also involved in the murder The cops gathered all the evidences and kept them in safe custody but they were still confused about who the lady was one thing that cops were certain about was the deceased Narayan Swami shared a close relationship with the woman Narayan Swami bage maithi kale aagta iddage namu namge kelu maithi telu bartade ata ಕಾರ್ ಚಾಲನೆ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದ ಅಲ್ಲದೆ ಮಂಜಿ ಅನ್ನೋ ಮಂಜು ಮಂಜಿ ಅಲಿಯಾಸ್ ಮಂಜುಳ ಅನ್ನೋ ಜೊತೆ ಸಂಪರ್ಕ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಒಳ್ಳೆ ಸಂಬಂಧ ಇಟ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಕೇಳಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಮಂಜಿ ಅಲಿಯಾಸ್ ಮಂಜುಳ ಮಂಜುಳ ಅಲಿಯಾಸ್ ಮಂಜಿ ಅನ್ನೋರು ಅನೇಕ ಠಾಣೆಗೆ ಅನೇಕ ಪ್ರಕರಣಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬೇಕಾಗಿರ್ತಾರೆ ಅವಳ ಸಂಪರ್ಕ ಇವನು ಹೊಂದಿದ್ದ ಅವ್ರ ಜೊತೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದ್ದ ಅಂತ ತಕ್ಷಣ ನಮಗೆ ಇವನ ನಡವಳಿಕೆ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಅನುಮಾನ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಮತ್ತೆ ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಸಿಗೋದಿಲ್ಲ ಆ ನಂತರ ನಾವು ಇವನು ಎಲ್ಲ ಗ್ರಾ ನಮ್ಮ ಬಾತ್ಮೀದಾರರಿಂದ ಕೆಲವು ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಈ ಯಾವತ್ತು ಬಾಡಿ ಸಿಕ್ತು ಆ ದಿವಸದಿಂದ ನಮ್ಮ ಗ್ರಾಮಾಂತರ ಠಾಣಾ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತಿಯ ಕೋಣ್ನಹಳ್ಳಿ ಅಂತ ಒಂದು ಗ್ರಾಮ ಇದೆ ಆ ಗ್ರಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಜನ ಹುಡುಗರು ತಲೆ ಮರೆಸ್ಕೊಂಡಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವತ್ತಿಂದ ಊರಿಗೆ ಬಂದಿಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಮಾಹಿತಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ದ ಕೇಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಈಸಿ ಟು ಕ್ರಾಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕಾಪ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರಾಚ್ ದೇ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಕಲೆಕ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ಫಾರ್ಮೇಶನ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಡಿಸೀಸ್ಡ್ ನಾರಾಯಣ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ The information they received was too much for them to digest. Narayan Swami was a notorious criminal. Narayan Swami was a cab driver? Yes, but that was his part-time job. You must now be wondering what else he was into. Narayan Swami was a notorious thief otherwise. He was a professional in using the attention diversion technique and robbing people. The reason why Narayan Swami came down from Tamil Nadu to Mandya was because of all the cases that were registered against him in the neighboring state. He assumed that he would be safe if he came to Karnataka and hence decided to settle down in Mandya. Nobody knew when Narayan Swami stayed and who he resided with. When the cops investigated the matter They learned that he was in a living relationship with Manji Elias Manjula. Interestingly, Manjula was a married woman. Her husband's name was Shankar. Though she was married, that didn't restrict her from having an affair with Narayan Swami. Wondering why she had the same profession as that of Narayan Swami's. Yes, she was a thief too. She also used the attention diversion technique and snatched chains. Both Narayan Swami and Manjula had the same profession and hence hit it off well. They decided to function together there on. 
By now, the cops had learned Narayan Swami's history and his affair with Manjula. They confirmed that all the things they found in the car belonged to Manjula. The cops assumed that Manjula could be involved in Narayan Swami's murder. They tried to trace her, but it was a wild goose chase for the cops. Manjula was nowhere to be found. After they inquired from the other police stations about Manjula, they were in for a shocking surprise. The Bandia cops learned that the Uppar paid police in Bengaluru had arrested Manjula and three other people in a case of robbery. When the Bandia cops checked with Uppar paid police, they learned that it was the same Manjula who was arrested and that she was a habitual offender. <laughs> अगले उपाय फोन ले मंजू अलियास सिट मंजू होता करीब रहे आता आतन जोते कुप्पा स्वामी उमेशा किरण कुमारा कांत्राज दुर्गेशा इस जना मिस वो काने आगे तो उटो आर जना बाड़ी सिक्के दिस दिन्दा ग्राम दल दले काने आगे तो ये आगा ना मंजू अलियास सिट मंजू अनुन बगे ना माइट भी संग्रह सागा आता ही का सुमार मु आरा आर्यल टीम लिंदे ऊपर पे टे पुलिस टाने एक रो और तन बंद से सुमार पदार्थ का ना बसपर्स कोणी रो अनोन दो मायती बर्ते ये मायती मेले ना वो मते मायती कलेक्ट मार्ट स्टार्ट मार्टी ये मंजू नॉन बगे मंजू नॉन बगे मायती कलेक्ट मार्टी दागे ना बगे बात में जा रहे हैं ना ये तो नो क Narayan Swami was not part of the gang which was arrested along with Manjula back in the past. The man who was with Manjula then was a person named Manja. Manja alias Manjanath, Manjula and Narayan Swami were all part of the same gang. Theirs was a gang of nine and the leader of the gang was Manjula. With all the conclusions that the cops managed to arrive at, they were certain that she was involved in Narayan Swami's murder in one way or the other. आ मंजुला नो अनेक जनरल वन गुम पड़ते हों दिलो मंजुला मनु अमेले चे अमेले चलूराई इधर तो वन तो गैंग कट गोंडो आके ये वन की एंगल से गले एंसिक करे औरा गामना वन बेर डे से लो अवन जो चिन्ना बढ़ना गले ना कस्टु गोल्ड वन ता हाँ वन तो ये कल्टर द केस लिजाले अमेज़ो रंग के चल दिखा रहे इस तरह आधार तो मेरे के ना वो ये केस ली हुई रहा ये ना कल्याण मर्च को लोग तो ये विचार तो बगैर ना वो इतना सस्पेक्ट मारे ये वो रहा ये रुपए क्या ना ना पत्ते ची ये आर जनों मंजो दुर्गेशा कुपुस्वामी उमेशा किरण कुमारा कांत्राज ये वो रहा ना वशिक के पढ़ कर ची बंद स्तुति और ना ये लीजर ना पत्ते ची ना � who hailed from Konarahalli in Mandya. Hence, it was not too hard for the cops to nab him. They arrived at his doorstep and took him into custody. When Manjunath was arrested, Five of his friends were also nabbed by the Mandya cops. Shockingly, as soon as Manjunath and his friends were arrested, the Mandya cops got a breakthrough in the murder case. Manjunath was a resident of Mandya and was a graduate. He managed a jaggery factory in the village and led a peaceful life until the one fateful day when he met Manjula. In no time, Manjunath turned an educated criminal, only because Manjula was also into the same profession.